Thank you, Mr. Speaker. On March 18th, critical negotiations will resume in New York within the United Nations on the Arms Trade Treaty. I commend that our government and thank the Prime Minister that our government has been supportive of this treaty, but ask why have we taken the strange position that corruption should not be a central criterion in deciding if an arms trade should go forward? We know from Transparency International that corruption is rife in the arms trade industry, and I ask the Prime Minister if we can change our position and work for a stronger treaty. And the Honourable Minister of Foreign Affairs. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. I want to thank uh, the member opposite for her thoughtful contribution on this issue. I can say that Canada has some of the highest global standards when it comes to the exports of munitions. Uh, we do want to clamp down uh, on corruption. We believe that any treaty negotiated uh, should, all, should meet the high standards that Canada has already posed, imposed. Uh, we believe, Mr. Speaker, that after so many years of the wasteful, inefficient long gun registry, the last thing that we want the United Nations to do is to target law-abiding hunters and duck farmers. Duck farmers. <laughs>